The novel, soon, a overdue history of procrastination, from Leonardo and Darwin to me and you only do it, that is a demand that comes from anywhere. Sneakers say it, your spouse says it, the legislation demands it, your daily diet may say it your boss does, for certain. Just do it. Buckle down and get it done because, as in the new book, soon, by Andrew Santella, delaying and dawdling are not so delightful. Charles Darwin was a terrible procrastinator. It's true that he got things done, he was an accomplished author, a father, a scientist who studied barnacles almost to the point of obsession, and his thoughts on what he called natural selection had been arranged cohesively and written. 20 years went by before it was published. As he was preparing to write this book on procrastination, research which he'd put off until he couldn't wait any longer, Andrew Santella began seeing a lot of foot dragging hidden throughout history. We wish you a Merry Procrastinators, as it turns out, are in good company, one out of five of us chronically waits until the last minute to start tasks. Such delay, says Santella, is one of the oldest stories ever told. It's also notoriously difficult to define and equally hard to eradicate. Not only do businesses demand on-time productivity, but self-improvement books and classes are filled with anti-procrastination advice. Says Santella, none of that takes into account the stuff that makes life such a precious mess. And it doesn't do anything to eliminate what is believed by some to be the root of the problem, which is that people are ruled by emotions, especially fear. To try to control time frittering, remember that behavior shapes mood. Do that which you're putting off and it will make you feel better. Keep in mind that there is a good side to procrastination, and that's optimism, tomorrow is always a good day, for a procrastinator. Take a page from Benjamin Franklin, and make a list of things you need to do. Remember that it's nearly universal to fit work into the time it's slotted. Minimize distractions, utilize productivity apps, muster all the self-restraint you have, and remember that you're not alone. And if all else fails, pray to Saint Expedite. He's the patron saint of procrastinators. Time's a wastin'. You need a book to help you conquer your habit of lateness, but soon isn't it? Even so, it's a great way to kill time because author Andrew Santella says he's exactly in your same position. As it turns out, so were a lot of famous people, most of them, quite accomplished in fields of history, literature, and psychology. That, as Santella shows, indicates that even though foot dragging is stressful and detrimental to one's career, it doesn't always lead to failure or worse. The anecdotes he shares sometimes get a little too deep, but they do provide insight as to why someone might dilly-dally and, if you're willing to dig a little, what can be done about it. That makes soon a book for procrastinators and for those who aren't but are irritated by one. Chances are, that's you, and you will enjoy reading it. The tidings we bring. Terry Schleichenmayer is the reviewer behind the bookworm says, a self-syndicated book review column published in more than 260 newspapers and magazines in the US, Canada and the Caribbean. She can be reached for feedback at you